Hi guys, I'm so excited to be here again today. Um, so I have a quick little video. I did one a couple days ago about craft fairs and five tips for success, but you know, I wanted to dive a little deeper and I wanted to tell you about five things you should bring and this is particular if you're selling jewelry. So if you go to a craft fair and you make jewelry, um, these are five, you know, just interesting things that you probably wouldn't have thought of and I hope you find them useful. So first thing, it's this guy. <laughs> you're probably wondering why would you bring a lint remover? But um, having done so many shows, and your jewelry displays, a lot of the times they get covered in dust or fingerprints or, you know, especially if you use any of the pre-made displays that are made, um, I guess it's like a felt or like a fabric or something like that, they tend to get dusty. And if you're doing a two-day show, you know, by the end of the day and all the foot traffic, you just can go through and clean up. This is also good if you're not selling jewelry for any booth, especially when little children come by and they're munching on muffins and crumbs get sprinkled, or even adults. I mean, I love children, I'm a mom, so, but you know, this has come in handy more than once. So just go through, you know, give a quick cleanup when you can, and um, it just keeps all the lint, the dust, dog hair, whatever it might be, from sealing on your booth. So, number one unique thing to bring is this. Okay. Number two, and this is particularly for jewelers, is bring your tools. Um, whenever I'm at a craft fair, I always find people will like a necklace, but they'll want it a bit shorter or a bit longer, and I make adjustments on the fly. It helps me with more sales when I bring my tools. I'll bring extra jump rings, extra chain, um, you know, just anything that I would need to make adjustments. Um, so basically my five main pliers that I use some jump rings and some chains. So bring extra tools um, so you can make adjustments. Uh, number three, rubbing alcohol. So why would you bring rubbing alcohol and cotton balls? Because I was surprised, but many people actually will try on the jewelry. And I, the first time I saw some lady, you know, put the earrings in her ear, and she's like, oh, I don't like these, thank you. And she put them back and I was like, um, um, I can't sell those now. So, alcohol and cotton balls so you can sanitize on the go. It's really good. If you don't want to bring alcohol, just bring like your little hand sanitizer, but I find sometimes that can taint the color of the jewelry, so good to bring. All right, the fourth thing you want to bring, fourth, is packing boxes. So, if you're in a craft fair, you know, you probably don't have a lot of money, you can go to the dollar store and pick up maybe 10 boxes or, you know, even if you don't sell jewelry, something that people can carry away and bags, little bags. So the first time I went to a craft fair, I didn't bring any of this and some lady bought a necklace and I was like, here you go. <laughs> and I just, she puts it in her hand and is like, what do I do with it? So she was very understanding and realized this was my first show, but these little bags, they're actually, what are they called? Glassine bags? It looks like they're made for pastries and stuff. I buy, the, I buy these at Michael's because they're cheap. And you can buy, how many are in here? Seven? No. 25. 25 bags in here. And I think it's like $4 or $5. So just one of these little bags so you can give people something to put it in. Um, and then a box. I buy these wholesale, but I know that you can buy them at the dollar store or something similar and um, just have a couple of them in case people want a gift box. The class people give these for a gift. It just makes you look a little bit more professional. I buy these little ties so I can seal them up and then I have my product card in there and it just already comes with the foam in it. So if you can, a couple gift boxes go a long way, um, you know, no matter what you're selling. So if you're selling soaps, I'm sure you have something like that, but something that someone can like present and, and take away with them. Okay, and the fifth thing, you're gonna laugh, Rocks. Why would you bring rocks? Okay, so when you're doing craft fairs, especially outside, more than one occasion, actually 50% of the time, it gets windy. And then your tablecloth starts flying up. And then your displays start flying up. So I bring rocks. My daughter helped me paint these. These are some nice little gold ones. You can paint them. Or if you can buy the geode rocks every time, you know, you can find these sometimes on special. These actually go with my jewelry display. But something heavy. Maybe you're selling, you know, prints and things like that. Bring books or something that, you know, would go with a theme 
of your craft fair, but it's gonna help you keep everything down. So these are probably like just things that you would never think of, um, you know, that are gonna help you be more successful at your, your first craft show. So I hope you find this useful. Um, if you have any questions, you know, just send me an email or go ahead and comment below. I would love it if you subscribe. Um, the jewelry I'm wearing, of course, these are mine. Um, I make it, so my shop is below. These are Swarovski crystals and gold fill little birds. I hope you like them. And yeah, I would love to hear your comments. And if you have anything unique that you bring to the craft fair, I am always ready to learn. Please, you know, put it in the comments below and uh, let me know. All right, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Bye.